In your wildest imagination, can you see what the two catchphrases live out loud and leaving a legacy have to do with an echo? Believe it or not, they all follow the same principles. So what typically goes into the making of an echo? I mean, of course, yes, there's a sound or series of sounds you generate, but the making of an echo is really in the making of your surroundings. The more massive the size of the surrounding, the louder and more exuberant the echo will be. The sharper the edge's surfaces are, the quicker your vibration permeates and ricochets throughout. I want you to picture yourself inside of a huge cathedral, cave, stadium, or any mega-sized building. As you step inside, you feel so small in comparison to size as you look around. You cannot begin to comprehend the magnitude of the entire dwelling you hold only a quarter of measurement of. As you continue to stand in what you gather to be the middle, your amazement finally finds voice to let out a small peep of a sound. Whoa. And as you speak ever so softly to yourself, something magical happens. The echo that is created by your mere almost whisper suddenly closes the gap between you and what encompasses you, as now this grandier space is filled completely with your sound. You begin to play around a little and notice that no matter how soft your initial efforts, the echo carries it ringing out far beyond itself. Well, here you are now. Out of that massive building and inside of your current dwelling within your own reality. You have dreams. You have aspirations. You have something to strive for. But yet still, there are times that in the grand scheme of life, in the mix of all of the other dreams and aspirations floating around in this world, you appear just as small as you did while standing in that space just a moment ago. Your actions seem insignificant, and your ideas, albeit huge to you, can't possibly occupy the space in the world you seek to inspire. It may appear at times that everyone else has that edge. Everyone else has the incredible website and marketing team. Everyone else has a following that grows by the minute on social media. They are the movers and the shakers, the professional networkers who are leading away. You feel your grip slowly losing its grasp. Here's where we connect the dots. When you feel defeated, when you feel as if there is no reason to be who you are or to give what you have, I want you to recall the echo. When you step into the zone where you are the smallest, the least of who's there, remember how to make a sound. When all who is around you are those with a lead, the push, that jagged edge, remember how your echo is formed. You see, in this scenario, you made sounds which came through your body. In reality, your presence is the initial tone. And just like in that majestic, massive dwelling, you don't have to do anything extravagant for your actions to permeate the areas needed to go far beyond yourself. In fact, the harder the condition, the bigger it appears, and the edgier the competition looks, the farther your actions can be bounced from, ricocheted off of, and bellowed through. Don't ever be intimidated or turned away from acting on your dream. Remember, you showing up brings your sounds resonant. The more action you take, however small, the bigger echo-making opportunities you will be taken toward. Size does matter, and in your case, the smaller you are to your hard, edgy circumference, the most impact your moves will make. This is how you live out loud. It's not by your power. It's not by your might, but by the very vibrational pull that strides well under those rough terrain environments. This vibration embodies every inch of your move, reverberating its benefits well past the days yet to come so that not only are you living out each moment loudly, but you are leaving with us your beautiful legacy. You are highly qualified to be seated at the table to dine on life's infinite possibilities. You don't have to push your way in. You don't need to wear the loudest of colors. All you do is walk in the essence of who you are made to be. Allow that echo to carry your efforts with ease and poise as your attendance alone infiltrates every crease, corner, and crevice. Your destiny awaits you. Go get it.